So I log into Twitter this afternoon, and I get a message from none other than Bullet Barry. And I am going to go over that message, and we've had, you know, a little bit of conversation back and forth about this situation. And after that conversation, I have made the decision to officially cut ties with Bullet Barry amid the recent controversy that, that has been going on surrounding the recent debate we've had. And I think it's the best, it's the best thing moving forward for the both of us. Now, let me go over the conversation we had today so you have a better understanding of uh, why why it has to be that way. So, here's what he sent me this afternoon. Hey, man, I just want to say this as a friend before it gets bad, but if you don't do research before making videos, then all you're doing is making opinion videos. People are telling me more and more to ignore you because you're turning back into a troll, and when you look... At your newest videos, it can certainly seem that way. I'm not trying to be mean. You know you're a friend to me, so I just wanted to let you know. That's what he sent me. Okay, so I simply responded this. I'm like, hmm, that's strange. I could have sworn I remember doing research on all of my videos before talking about it. No, I'm not becoming a troll. I'm just becoming more outspoken on controversial topics that is leading people to believe such things. I never talk about something without looking into it first. I'm sorry if you or your subscribers think otherwise, but I'm not going to change my stances just because I hold ideas and beliefs that others may find controversial. And, and that's the truth. Just because I've been saying things lately that you may personally not agree with doesn't mean that you can just dismiss me as some kind of troll. Because that's, that's a very easy thing to label. Oh, this person's just a troll. It's the exact same thing that people on the political left right now use to take down their political opponents. Oh, this person's a racist, this person's a Nazi. It's literally the exact same mentality that unfortunately a lot of people in the gaming community have, which is, oh yeah, no, this person says something that we, we don't agree with. Instead of actually addressing the point head on, we're just going to say, oh, this person's a troll. Easier that way. You don't actually have to do any work. It's ex <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Over the past year on my YouTube career, I have made a, a huge effort to always make sure that I do research into something before making videos about it. So when I looked into the PlayStation Now issue, when, you know, when people were saying, oh, PlayStation Now is the future, I, I'm just going through a few examples. With the PlayStation Now thing, I'm like, is it really the future, considering that at least half of the country doesn't have the internet capabilities to, to do PlayStation Now. So I didn't just take a shit on PlayStation Now because I don't like it. I did it because, you know, if you actually look into it, it doesn't seem like uh, something that would actually work. And maybe, you know, 30, 40, 50 years from now, maybe, but in the near future, no. And then you know, I've also talked about other stuff, no problem. You know, whenever I criticize Microsoft, Sony, no problem. But whenever I criticize... The people on the PC side, that's when things start getting really controversial. And, oh, you know, even though I use the same exact mentality, when I criticize Sony and Microsoft, I look into actual facts and statistics, which I do. And if you if you think otherwise, then you, you either, you know, didn't actually pay attention or you didn't even bother watching the videos. You just saw the title and click dislike. You know, that's what, that's what these people do because it doesn't require any effort to do that requires no effort whatsoever. Oh, this person's a troll. This person, oh, this person uh, did this five years ago. So we're going to automatically dismiss anything they say right now because, you know, what, what they did when they were 15, 16 years old is completely relevant to what's happening now. And, you know, instead of actually addressing the actual points. So, you know, I've done that with, with the, the piracy situation. You know, that that's the recent controversy I've been uh, involved with also after the debate I made a video about piracy and why comparing piracy to used games is just you know uh, it's just a completely uh, <laughs> it's it's just a pseudo intellectual thing to do you actually look at the benefits that used games have on the economy compare that to piracy it's zero benefits that piracy has on on uh, the industry zero compared to all the benefits that used games do because again, people are actually pumping money into the economy. With piracy, they're just simply downloading a game for free. And it's funny, people are accusing me of saying my feelings and that they're using facts. 
uh, and with the piracy thing, I found that funny because I saw a whole bunch of comments from people saying GameStop is an awful company. The way they treat their their people, or the, the way they treat their workers are awful. So you bringing up GameStop, you know, for uh, all, all those jobs that they create, it, it, you're just hurting your argument. And I'm like, really? And, and these are people saying you're just using your feelings. What? Isn't that exactly what you're doing? You're saying your personal opinions about GameStop, and yes, they are opinions that I personally do hold myself. I don't think GameStop's a great company, but if you're gonna judge, if you're gonna if if you're gonna take away all the shitty jobs because you say, well, GameStop doesn't count because their jobs are shitty, then you're never gonna get served a Big Mac anymore. <laughs> Those are shitty jobs, but they're bad for the economy. Then they're bad for the economy because they're shitty jobs. It's not how economics work. Your feelings don't dictate economics. What about your Amazon packages? They're shitty jobs. The people who work in those Amazon factories, they're treated like five-year-old Chinese factory workers with their working conditions. So, you know, talking about GameStop, dismissing that, that, oh, th those jobs are shitty, so they don't contribute to the economy. So then, I guess, people who work at McDonald's, people who work at movie theaters, people who work at all those shitty entry-level minimum wage jobs. Oh, but I'm the one that's talking my feelings. <laughs> I'm just telling you how economics work. That's exactly what I did during the debate. That's what I did with the whole piracy thing. But people still say that I'm not using facts. It's, ju it's just deflection tactics. That's what it is. You're deflecting. <laughs> you have lack, complete lack of self-awareness, it seems. So going back to the whole Barry situation, because uh, I'm sure that's why everyone's tuned in because of the title of this video. Uh, so, you know, about that, I said, but I'm not going to change my stances just because I hold ideas and beliefs that others may find controversial. I, I already went over that. So Barry responded saying, I'm not going to tell you how to run your channels. I just wanted to say it. I'd feel like a tool if I didn't say anything. I said, well, people don't like that I'm criticizing PC fanboys too and their stupid shit. And that's what it boils down to because when I criticized Sony and Microsoft, like I said, Oh, there were no complaints, a whole bunch of likes and rarely any dislikes because, again, the people who, most of the people who discovered my YouTube channel are the people who found me from Rags, from Barry, from all those, you know, the people in that PC circle. So whenever I criticize PC, oh, no, 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 it's going to be a shitstorm. So with that debate on exclusives, you know, that was kind of, a, it wasn't really a jab on PC gaming, but it's obviously something PC gamers don't like. Because there are games that they that they know they can't play, so and I pretty much you know say that you know what these PC fanboys say about exclusives is just <laughs> completely against reality. Exclusives are important in the industry, and I'm not going to go over that whole thing again because I didn't. I, I spent an hour and a half debating, and a half hour reflecting on that debate. I'm not going to spend any more time talking about the debate itself. But if you honestly think I used no facts whatsoever, you just didn't pay any attention. That's what it is. You just did not pay any attention whatsoever. And as, uh, as, long, as, as well as all the other videos I, I've made, you just clearly didn't pay any attention. You just looked at the title, dislike, uh, you're a troll, that's it. doesn't require any work. doesn't require any intellectual effort on your part. It doesn't. So I actually said I'm actually being fair and balanced going after the, the people on the PC side of things because they're not perfect. They're not. So now that I'm going after everyone, I'm not just going after Sony and Microsoft. Oh, now things are different. Now things are completely different. So he responded. He said, if I were you, uh, I'd make a video reaching out to your subs. Ask them what they like and dislike. I think that would help both sides get a different perspective. The thing is, these are not my subscribers that are mass disliking my videos and are, you know, the, the source of all this controversy. These aren't my subscribers. These are your subscribers. Let's let's just let's just be clear about that. They're not my subscribers. If they were my subscribers, then I would have had a whole bunch of dislikes before the debate, which I didn't. Most of my videos had far more likes and dislikes, even the controversial ones, because people said, "Look, like I don't agree with you, but I, you know, you did bring up some points, and I'm, I kind of have a better uh, perspective of the other side." And that's what people said, even the people who didn't agree with me. But now, you know, that's the thing about having a debate with someone that is just, I don't even know how many times bigger than me. What, I have 3,000 subscribers? How many does he have? 160,000? These are not my subscribers. So, we'll just make that clear. But then I added on to my whole uh, 
to my message talking about how I'm actually being fair and balanced because I'm criticizing all sides and not just a few. I, I added on to that. I said, if you feel otherwise, then that's cool. You can just do what your subscribers want and view me as a joke or a troll. It's easier to dismiss opposing points of view by using those labels instead of addressing my points head on. It's ridiculous. I respect you and always will, but if you honestly believe any of that, then I'll just do my own thing. It's fine. And I honestly mean that. I'm not, I don't have anything against Barry at all. But clearly he's being, if he, if he, if he had to send me a whole message about this, he's clearly being bothered about what his subscribers think about me to, to send me these messages. So here, here's the thing. It's, it'll be best for both of us if, you know, we just completely cut ties all together. You know, no more YouTube collabs, no more debates, none of that. It's just going to cause too many problems. Because I'm not going to change my opinion no matter what. I Because a lot of my opinions are based on actual facts about how the industry works and basic economics. And I've provided sources. I've provided proof. I've looked, done research into everything I've said. I don't just make baseless claims. Like I said, I actually look into stuff before I make a video talking about it. Because again, I have no reason to do otherwise. I don't have any biases for one company over the other. I've proven that over the past year. I've made criticism after criticism from against all platforms. Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, PC. But I will admit uh, what Barry responded to after that kind of uh, pissed, pissed me off a lot. It was just, you know, very passive-aggressive comment. Like, I don't even know if he meant to do that, but it still rubbed me the wrong way. Let me Let me read it to you. After I talked about, you know, I respect you, but if you honestly believe any of that, then I'll just do my own thing. It's fine. And after saying all that, after explaining to him, like, look, I don't, I actually look into the stuff. I'm not a troll. I have opinions that people don't like, but that doesn't mean that I'm a, automatically a troll. And after saying all that, here's his response. I'm just letting you know what's up, man. None of this is from me. I wouldn't care if you did become a troll again. It's your channel. Like, dude, are you kidding me? I just spent all this time explaining to you. <laughs> that I'm not trolling. And I'm serious. I'm not trolling. Like, when I did the whole Console King shit, Barry was in on it. Like, I, I told him, like, hey, like, <laughs> you know, I'm not actually serious about this shit. Um, and he, he knew that. But I'm explaining to him, like, look, I am not a troll. I am not trolling at all. And after all that, he just says, I don't even care if you're a troll. It's not my channel. Like, what? Are you kidding me, man? Like, again, this is nothing... Th this whole decision is nothing about Barry. I mean, personally, I mean. It's more about the people who are subscribed to his channel that have their opinion on me. They think I'm just a troll and I should be ignored. And, you know, they, they don't like when he makes videos with me or makes debates with me. So, you know, I'm just going to do what's best for both of us. It's good for me because then I don't have to deal with these people anymore. Here's the last message I sent him, by the way, before he stopped responding. I said... Oh yeah, tell your subscribers I, I said thank you for mass disliking all my videos that had mostly likes before the debate. Now they have like 5 likes and 40 dislikes and all of the, like it's just cra crazy numbers of dislikes that weren't there before. I, I Even videos that have nothing to do with the topic about exclusives. I'm just talking about the possibility of the PlayStation 5 having PS4 backwards compatibility. That video gets mass disliked. So yeah, I'm a little bit upset. I'm a little bit angry and a little bit annoyed. So that's why I think it's it's the best for, for both of us if I just completely cut ties with you because if your subscribers think that low of me and they, they're willing to, you know, mass dislike my videos and try to uh, discourage me from, you know, doing what I do and just dismiss me as a troll and someone that should, you know, not be uh, acknowledged, then you get your wish. We're going to go our separate ways from now on. I'm sure he won't have any objections because then he doesn't have to worry about his subscribers. You know, it's a huge number. And I'm not trying to generalize Bullet Barry subscribers, by the way. A lot of them I'm cool with. Some of them are even prominent members on my Discord server and I talk to regularly. I would say it's about 70-30. 70% of his subscribers are like this and there's, you know, a good minority that aren't. And those people, I will say, I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. You guys are, you know, and a lot of them have complimented me on the debate, said, you know, he actually brought up good points. But unfortunately, there was a large number of them that 
uh, just you know want to uh, just dismiss, just just do all those things against me. You know, mass dislike my videos and all that stuff. So, yeah, um, it, it's just best for the both of us going forward to not interact with each other on YouTube anymore. It you know obviously causes more problems than benefits, and I don't want to do anything that would hurt his channel. So that's why I feel that this is the only path forward. For both parties, and that's how it's got to be. So no more debates with Barry. No more video collaborations with Barry. Uh, I still respect him, and if he wants to have any private conversations, that's fine. But as far as YouTube is concerned, that's done. I've learned my lesson now never to do debates with bigger YouTubers again. It's specifically gaming video, gaming debates, because it, that this is what happens. This is what happens. You know, there are people with 100 plus thousand subscribers that have a certain position and obviously their subscribers are going to side with their point of view and you know the opposing point of view they're not going to warm they're not going to warm up to that much and that's usually what happens when you have debates you know with big channels versus small channels it doesn't usually uh, fare well for the small channels so i've learned that now and no no more debates with big YouTubers anymore. Even if, you know, all these YouTubers started coming out of the woodworks, rags, uh, top hats, all these other people decide to challenge me to a debate, I would just simply say no. Not because I don't think I would do a good job against them because they, they're more uh they they know more about it than I do. It's none of that. It's just it causes way more trouble for you know, for me and even for them to, to even do that, so yeah, no, no more, no more debates with big YouTubers. Maybe smaller channels down the line, but big YouTubers. Now I've learned, no, and th th this whole situation just kind of uh, proves that.